Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We got something really interesting for you. We've been testing different IPv drones for a while now. Flying brakes just for fun. We test 3 inch, 5 inch, 6 inch, and 7 inch drones without really considering the technical details. But this time, we're talking to the next level. We're going to dive into the technical side of things and test the motor thrust, drone weight, and then calculate how the IPv drones perform. Later on, we will tell you how we test the motors and how to check the motor specification for it. And if you are into this, hit the subscribe for more. Let's get started. We assume that there are current no specifications for our motors on the website, or perhaps I don't intend to trust the parameters provided on the official side. We'll test with our own equipment, test motors of various sizes ranging from 3 inches to 7 inches, including 1804, 2207, 2306, 2408, and 2806.5 motors. Paired with suitable propellers, we will measure their thrust, power efficiency, and more. This is the test bench we use, and it is actually quite substantial, capable of testing large motors. We use this bench to test the motors for both fixed wing and UAV application. Some professional pilots use much smaller testing bench for FPV drone can be sufficient. This is the testing server, you can consider it as a computer. We adjust the voltage on this platform, however, it's quite old, and some functionalities are not working that good. We are planning to replace it in the near future. Adjust as a linear throttle, increasing by 10% throttle every 1 second until reaching full throttle at the setting voltage. After 10 second test period, an Excel table can be generated to record various parameters. First, we test the 3 inch motor SC1804. We have two visions 2450kV and 3500kV. Okay, now we got the parameters table here, and let's take a look at this table. Time represents the system time, we can ignore this. PWM is the throttle signal protocol, and then throttle, voltage, current, RPM, the F is the thrust, the T stands for torque, motor output power, system input power, motor sufficient, propeller force efficiency, system force efficiency, that's all the parameters in the table. Now we got the 80 or 4 motor parameters table. Last time we used 2450 kV and we can check it in the table. Under 100% throttle, the thrust is about 440 gram. The combined thrust of the four motors is 760 gram. Detecting the weight of the drone and battery, a 3 inch drone is no chance to lift the 1680 grams brake. Now we test the 3 inch motor 227 in different KV version, 1715, 1915, and the 2750 KV. Let's take a look at the data table now. Our 5 inch FPV drone we created with 2207, 1950 KV motors. At 60 volts, each motor is capable of pulling a thrust more than 1 kg. Theoretically, the combined thrust of the four motors could surpass 4 kg. Considering the weight of the FPV drone itself, the battery and the brake, total approximately 2.2 kg, it appears the drone is capable of lifting the brake. According to the efficiency losses in our real tests, the 5-inch FPV successfully takes off when the battery is fully charged, but a little bit difficult. We test 2207 motor in 1750kV, 1950kV, and 2750kV. The choice of testing at 16 volts and 24 volts is rotated in the fact that a fully charged battery typically reaches 4.2 volts per cell. With 4S and 6S batteries as most voltage of 16.8 volts and 25.2 volts respectively, our tested data on the website assigned with those voltages. 
However, the real use scenarios often prevent us from achieving the ideal fully charged states. So we assume a usable voltage of 4 volts per cell, making 4S batteries equal to 16 volts and 6S batteries to 24 volts. The grams illustrate the thrust of the 22 or 7 motors at different threshold levels. Now we test the 5 inch motor, 23 or 6 in different KV version. 1750, 1950, and 2450 kV. We didn't use 2306 motor in 5 inch this time, but as the data shows, the thrust of 2306 1950 kV motor with 4942 propeller will be much smaller than 2207 1950 kV motors with 5145 propeller. Each of the motors in 100% throttle provides 0.85 kg thrust and 3.4 kg in total, ideally, and we doubt if it can really leave the brake. Overall, there are some differences in the performance of the two motors. The figure shows the performance of two motors. If you need to race, choose a high KV motor, while a low KV motor tends to be more efficient. Just like Chris Rose's test of our motor results, the MAP 1750 KV motor is the most efficient among all motors in the market. MAP SC2408 has two different KV versions, 1900 and 2500 KV. The 6-inch motor 2508, we use 2500 kV on the drone, so we only test 2500 kV this time. The table indicates the thrust of the 2500 kV motor with a 6-inch propeller, showcasing nearly 2 kg of thrust at full throttle in 16 volts. Theoretically, this should be more than sufficient to easily lift a single brake. Now, let's delve into the details of the motor specification page for SC2207 7050 kV motor. The first column specifies the propeller and the voltage used for testing, with the throttle range from 10% to 100%. The voltage indicates whether the testing simulates a 4S or 6S battery. As the throttle increases, current also progressively rises. RPM shows the current rotational speed. Well, thrust represents the individual motor's pulling force. Power indicates the current power consumption, and motor efficiency is calculated by dividing thrust by power. This table indicates the thrust values for two different propellers. When less than 60% the throttle, the thrust generated by both propellers is nearly identical. However, beyond the 60% of the throttle, the thrust of the GF51466 propeller begins to surpass that of the HQR68. Ultimately, at 100% throttle, the GF51466 propeller yields around 100 grams more thrust. Our SC series motors are known for their high efficiency. Comparing to the mainstream FPV drone sizes ranging from 65mm frame to 7 inch frame. Whether you are flying a small or large FPV drone, and whether you are a beginner or a veteran pilot, you can find a motor in our lineup that suits your needs. The actual testing in the R&D process is much more complex than this. Through the method of controlling variables, we conduct numerous tests during the product development and the prototyping phase. We experiment with different magnets, weldings, and various components to ensure that we find the optimal motor configuration. Thank you for watching our videos. We briefly analyzed some data from the testing table. Hope it will assist you in selecting motors. If you have any suggestions for our motors, please leave a comment below. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel. See you the next time. Maps.